98% of golfers get this wrong with their leading edge when chipping. Now when you get this wrong, the likelihood of you fatting, thinning it, or even stabbing it increases dramatically. And I don't want you to do that. You might be thinking, Alex, well, why 98%? Well, I teach a lot of golfers, and I know only around two people get this right. And I've got a really, well, I've got a method that you've never seen before using the sand, showing you the difference of what the club does to what we want it to do. So much of chipping is just all about the setup. You get the setup right, the club glides, and that's how you're going to hit those much crispier. I mean, look at that. Beautiful crisp, it's all about that leading edge, right? I know it might seem strange that we're in a bunker and we're talking about chipping. It's nothing to do with bunkers, this, but it helps me show you this, right? So, most golfers hold their club like this. Leading edge really proud. Now, watch what happens when I do this. Imagine this is really wet ground and really soft ground. Look at what happens, I'll do this slowly. We get a bit more of a, a dig, don't we? The leading edge digs. That's when you duff it. That's then when you're going to counteract it and try and lift the ball in the air and you thin it. We want to stay away from that. Now look at this slight tweak. So I was there, just look at this, only subtle, but the difference is dramatic. Open the club face slightly. Now look at what it does to the sand. Look at this divot. I'll come a little bit close to it. Now I did nothing different there. All I did was change my face from that to that. And what that does is that gets our club to glide not dig. This leading edge proud gets the club to dig and this gets you in the world of trouble. So look at those divots here. You can clearly see digger, glider, and we want more of the glide. Loads of you are loving the AE Club. It's a free newsletter. It goes out every single month, it includes downloadable lesson guides, hints and tips to help improve your game. And if you wanna get involved and you wanna join the AE Club, it's really easy. Just click the link down below in the description, head over there and join the AE Club. This is the bit where they really go wrong. 98% of golfers really go wrong here. Now I'm gonna show you how you, that little tweak you've got to make with that club, but also there's no point being able to strike it well if you don't have a routine in order to select the right club. It's as much use as a chocolate fire guard, right? We've got to have one, get our strike sorted. That's what we're gonna talk about right now. But then I'm gonna give you a routine, a method to choose the right club. So all I want you to do is this. I want you to hold your club up into the air and look at this from player cam, right? I want you to imagine the toe of your club is right now at 12 o'clock. And this is essential you do it in this order. You're gonna open it to 12.02. Now, I might sound ridiculous what I'm saying there, but you know the significance now with that sand. So you're opening it to 12.02 or 12.03 and then placing your hands on. So your grip relative to you is absolutely normal, but your club face is a little bit open. I'd aim my body a little bit to the left and now I've got my club to glide. My club can glide. And as I address this ball, move to face on for me because I want you to really look where my hand position is. My knuckles are not excessively ahead. When you get them excessively ahead, again, that gets the leading edge problems in there. So that just knuckles on the front edge of the ball. Now watch this, just the club does everything for you. It even the ones you duff even go close. Look at that shot, look at that strike. Again, look at the consistency. I'll play that again. I know when I use that method, up, hands on, in, aim a little left, rock it back, through. I know every time that is gonna be good. This is where it all comes together, right? This is the rule of thumb that I use every single time and have done for years. The rule that I use is if I can put it, I'll put it, okay? If I can chip it, if I can't put it, I'll chip it and I'll run it with something like a seven iron. My absolute last resort is get the ball in the air. So think about this really nice and simply. If you can put it, put it. If you can chip it, run it. Last resort, get the ball in the air. You use that method 
You use that technique when you're chipping, I guarantee you'll hit far less stuffs, you'll strike it, you'll get that check and show off to all your mates. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you're ever struggling with your game, just put a comment down below. I would love to help you play your best golf this summer.